my freshman year, I said to the community service committee of the Muslim Student Association, I said, I have this idea. We're going to collect millions of dollars of medical supplies and send them, you know, abroad. I think it's doable and we could do it on campus. And everyone, like, like, yeah, sure, you know, like, you know, good luck doing that. And a few months later, we were able to send our first 40-foot container. My name is Mustafa Mustafa. I just graduated from the University of Michigan, and I founded United to Heal on campus. It is an interfaith humanitarian organization that collects and redistributes surplus medical supplies to hospitals in need around the world. These are medical supplies that are not going to be used at all. They're going to be thrown away, stored indefinitely, or incinerated. You know the list of items I sent you guys that Dr. Fosa said he liked us to bring to Ghana? Yeah. So we pulled some of those boxes over here. So we're going to put those, that stuff in the suitcases. We're traveling to Ghana in two days, and the doctor there, he requested we bring specific medical supplies with us. He's the only doctor there for 100,000 people, and he, he works out of a hospital there that right now just has 22 beds. So we recently got funding to expanded a new 40 bed ward. So we're shipping him 40 beds to furnish the ward, sending him patient monitors, EKG machine. This will be mainly to, to furnish the ward and also just to furnish the hospital in general. Shipping out our first container of medical supplies was extremely tiring, but it was also an incredibly inspirational moment. I remember a student, he came up to me and he said, you know, this today, was the greatest example of interfaith dialogue that I have participated in. Because here we were, very different people, working very hard, sweating very hard, to send these, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars of medical supplies to people whom we had never even met before. These boxes, it looks like, already are, are uh, labeled. Right. We come together out of our own goodwill and out of our message to serve others. I think the group has really inspired a lot of our young college students to come out of themselves and really reach out to their brothers and sisters all over the world. And that has been infectious in this, in our community right here. I think this organization is a great example of what a few youth can accomplish. We're run only by students at the University of Michigan and yet we are able to collect and redistribute these millions of dollars of medical supplies. We are able to do more because we are interfaith. My religion really teaches perseverance. The Prophet Muhammad teaches that if the world is coming to an end and you have a seed in your hand to go ahead and plant it. By doing the work that we do, we present an alternative narrative to the one that is so constantly portrayed in the media of religious conflict. And I think that in itself is a, hopefully a source of positive change. We started from nothing, we had nothing, and within a few months we became one of the most active groups on campus. Our work you know, makes a huge difference. It's, we're not just sending money to another group, we're sending supplies that have the potential to, to heal and even save lives. So the greatest lesson for me has been what we can do when we overcome those differences and I look forward to what we all might do uh, in our careers.